Hey guys, it's Ben. Welcome back. In case you're new to my channel, I like to do reviews on some of my favorite 3D Blu-ray films and on occasion some 4K titles as well. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up to the last two Hobbit movie reviews I did, and this is the Battle of the Five Armies Extended Edition in 3D. And in case you missed the last two videos, this whole box set is a 15 disc set. Each movie comes with five discs. We have the 3D film here broken up into two discs and then the 2D version of it on one disc and then two discs full of special features, a lot of viewing content. So just to give you a little information about this movie, it's presented in 1080p with 2.4.1 widescreen so it does have the black bars. It's presented in 7.1 DTS HD Master Audio which sounds great. It was filmed natively in 3D, another reason why it's one of my favorites, and this one has a rating of R. Now, I'm not sure why it's rated R. I didn't see the theatrical cut, so I can't really tell you what the differences may be. I'm assuming maybe this one is a little bit more gorier than the theatrical cut. I noticed a considerable amount of gore for a Hobbit movie, a lot of uh, orcs being decapitated, so maybe that's it. But it's all CGI and it doesn't really look too graphic to me. I'd still let my kids watch it, but then again, maybe I'm a bad parent. But uh, anyway, just to get into the picture of the movie, this movie has a considerable amount of depth and a lot of separation of objects throughout. Um, a lot of pop out, but very discreet. So for the first movie I did a review on, An Unexpected Journey, we had the 3D up here. I said it was reference material. And then the Desolation of Smog, I kind of put right down here just because there were a lot of dark scenes towards the end that kind of distracted me from the 3D viewing experience. But then the Battle of the Five Armies, I put right up here, just below an unexpected journey. 3D on this is very consistent, very bright, all throughout. Um, with the first disc on Chapter 4, I immediately noticed it when Smog is chasing after Bard on the rooftops of Lake Town and you see a lot of flying debris going off the screen. Again, very subtle pop-out, very natural. I felt like the first two films had a lot more of the gimmicky pop-outs where, you know, bugs or birds are coming right off the screen at you, which is cool. I like gimmicky pop-out, but some people may not. Some people might like the more natural approach, and this does it quite well. Um, let's see, in chapter 18 of the disc, You'll have, uh, you know, snowy weather with snow kind of popping off the screen, but again, it's nothing too intense. Like, the first movie, I noticed that if it was raining a lot, it felt like you were right there in the thunderstorm. Um, this, I didn't get that feeling, but it still looked great. Uh, moving on to the second disc in one of the first chapters, there's a scene where Thorn Oakenshield is uh, on this golden floor that seems to be sucking him in like quicksand and it just stretches inward for on and on and on. It looks really cool. Chapter 4, when a lot of the battle scenes start, you see uh, these big giant uh, trolls or orcs or whatever they are swinging these huge maces around that seem to be flying off the screen with a bunch of debris. Arrows popping out this way and that. Um, and then towards the end, uh, we have some more snowy scenes. This time the snow seems to stand out a lot more than they did on the first disc. Um, all throughout the movie, very, very good 3D. Wasn't disappointed at all. Picture quality was superb, just like the first disc. Um, clarity was great. It's in 1080p, but I swear it feels like this is better than some of the 4K movies that I've seen. Very crisp, very clear. I mean, sometimes it's a little too clear. I'm looking at Bilbo and I notice, you know, his face looks really dirty and grimy. I don't know if uh, we're supposed to see it that way, but I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Um, the colors were very natural, but stood out a lot. Um, I didn't even notice the black bars, really, throughout the whole movie. That's how good the picture quality was. Um, then moving on to the audio, the 7.1 DTS HD Master audio. I thought it was superb. On the first movie, An Unexpected Journey, I gave the whole thing a uh, reference rating. It was 5 out of 5 stars for the audio and the picture. Um, second disc, or second movie, The Desolation of Smog, I thought that the audio was not as good as the first, 
there was uh, a lot of muffled dialogue. I had to turn my center speaker up a lot, and um, the bass didn't seem as loud. I didn't have that problem with this movie. The audio on this movie is very comparable to the first one, An Unexpected Journey. It just sounds great. Clear, crisp dialogue, panning effects sound great, especially the scenes with the dragon. It honestly sounds like you're right there in the picture. And it, it sounds a lot better than some of the Dolby Atmos tracks I've heard on some of the newer Disney titles. But then again, that's not saying much. <laughs> so anyway, I definitely think um, this whole box set is worth $39.99. That's how much I paid for it on uh, Amazon. In case you missed the other two videos, here is the box set here. We have Bilbo on the front. Uh, the whole box set is pretty thick, a little bit thicker than the Lord of the Rings box set, and that's because of the cases that are inside. On the back, we have the Arkenstone here. We have Smog right there. We have the map right here. And here we have the uh, spot where it keeps the movies at. And like I said, these uh, Blu-ray cases are pretty thick. I, I think it's kind of overdoing it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Lord of the Rings box set is probably close to half the size, and it has the same amount of discs. So I'm not sure why they made it so thick. But it actually, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. Um, so anyway... Definitely pick it up if you're a big 3D fanatic like me. If you liked this video, please subscribe. If not, thanks for watching anyways. Peace.